Hello and welcome to Radio Linseed, broadcasting to you in pictures from the depth of the Sussex countryside. My name is Derwin Banks, I'm a linseed farmer and this episode is going to deal with how margarine was made and also about solvent extraction. A little bit now about margarine, the tr trans fats, hydrogenated oil. I'm going to use my molecule here, which is roughly a molecule of saturated fat. So you can see saturated fat, they, all those molecules stick together and that is solid at room temperature, like butter. So oil, the molecule is much more like a horseshoe shape and it's like that because there's a, a bond between the third carbon, omega-3, the sixth carbon, omega-6 and the ninth carbon, omega-9. So what's happening during the hydrogenation process is the oil is poured over nickel oxide in a closed vessel halfway through there's some emulsifiers or something else put into it and at the end it's a horrible grey mass and what they've actually done is broken those uh, bonds so they've got a straight looking molecule. Of course it's not saturated fat, it's a hydrogenated fat which is a trans fat and that was terribly bad for your body and because it was industrially produced your body doesn't have the blueprint in it in order to use it so terribly bad terribly bad for you and even all those modern spreads today which they say are healthy for you they'll all oil liquid at room temperature and I ask you what is the possible need to industrial, industrially produce those kind of fats. You can use your oil liquid. You can mash your potatoes with it, you can put it on your pasta, you can make a vinaigrette, you can use it in any number of ways, but do not heat it. Right, so you say, what can I do when I want to roast my potatoes? Well, the answer to that, of course, is you must always use saturated fat for long, hot roasting. The reason for that is Saturated fat is unharmed by heat, but when you use oil, you destroy a delicate mechanism that helps you to oxygenate your blood. That's why it's critical to get that right. If you're a vegetarian, you can use coconut oil. Coconut oil is a saturated fat, and that's okay for long, hot heating process. Now, I want to explain to you two fats that you really need to avoid at all costs and the reason for that is because they are solvent extracted. Solvent extracted means it's an industrial process. As a Stone Age person you couldn't do it so you shouldn't be using it. Those two fats are corn oil and soy oil. There's such a small amount of oil in those seeds you can't get it out by slow cold pressing. It has to be solvent extracted. And that means the seed is mashed up and hexane like petrol is poured on it. That's then boiled out and the final result has to be degummed and all sorts of processes happen to it. And that you'll see in the, in the corn oil uh, bottle in the shop. And most people look at it and think, oh, that's lovely and shiny. It must be healthy, um, which of course is completely wrong. You take it home and fry your chips or your potatoes in it it's like eating plastic covered potatoes so we don't need one more litre of corn oil or soy oil in the world and you should not use it. So the argument that you need to have with your body is what do I want to have something in my body that's harmed by heat or not? Now clearly you don't want wheelbarrow loads of saturated fat in your body, although your body does know what saturated fat is and it does need it. So today of course as we do much of our job sitting down, we don't burn off those extra calories, but if you were a coal miner or a steel, man, a steel worker or something, 
it didn't matter too much, you burnt off the calories. So today you've got to be a bit more careful with saturated fat, but the issue is don't put anything in your body that's been harmed and heating the oil up and fooling around with it harms it and it, your body doesn't understand it. So I think that um, maybe I've been controversial enough for this broadcast, um, so I'm going to stop there. Uh, and hope you'll tune in for the next episode from Radio Linseed, broadcasting to you from the depth of the Sussex countryside. Thank you.